Okay, so this is going to be example number two, where we are going to apply the Castiglianos theorem and we'll find the deflection of the beam under this central load. Now, what is Castiglianos theorem? First of all, you must know this, and I think this is something that I have taught you in the previous lecture. Just take a look at this. Let's see, you want a deflection at C, then there must be a point load acting at C. YC, according to Castiglianos theorem, is equal to del U over del dub. This is Castiglianos theorem. That is the first thing. Secondly, this is the strain energy of the beam. This is what you need to calculate. And then there is another formula which I am sure you must remember U. Strain energy for the beam is equal to integral of m square dx over 2ei. So I need to make the calculation for strain energy and then I need to plug in that value over here to find the deflection. As you can see, the beam has been divided into two portions that is AC and CB. This load is acting centrally. So we can say that the support reactions will share it equally. That means this load W will be divided into W over 2 and W over 2. That is the first thing. Now what we'll do is we are going to consider portion AC, then find the corresponding strain energy, then we'll consider portion CB and then again repeat the same. Here we go. Let me make this let's say first we are considering this portion of ac now we are going to take a small section between point a and c from the left end of the beam so please note one thing whenever you take the section from the left bending moment has got to be anti clockwise this section has been taken at a distance of x and this is the reaction over here at point a that is w by 2 that has been repeated okay now what we'll do is we'll take the moment of this small chunk equal to zero since the entire system is in equilibrium when you do that apply the clock anti-clock concept okay so first of all at this very section the moment acting is that we've assumed is mx anti-clockwise therefore plus mx then you've got this force w by 2 multiplied by x clockwise moment over here minus w x over 2 is equal to 0 therefore any point uh, any point between a and c if you want to calculate the moment this is the formula so m a c is equal to w x over 2 that's the first thing in the same fashion students what we can do is we can find the the moment for any point between c and b that can be done okay so again if you watch let's go for moment is equal to zero for this small part mx is clockwise therefore minus mx and please note that whenever you take the section from the rightmost portion of the beam moment is clockwise from the left anti-clockwise that's a simple rule which you've got to remember here we go so mx uh, w by 2 into x anti-clockwise therefore plus w x over 2 is equal to 0 so for any point between c and b the moment can be computed as w x over 2 and please note that the value of moment magnitude of moment is same in both the cases so what we will do is please listen to this carefully what we'll do is we'll simply calculate the strain energy for one portion and then we are going to double it to find the strain energy of the entire portion so what i essentially mean to say is this here we go strain energy of the beam can be written as the algebraic sum of strain energy of portion ac of the beam strain energy of portion cb of the beam this can also be written as since these two strain energies are going to be equal because when you put in the value of mac over here you are going to get a particular value and when you put the value of mbc over here it is same wx by 2 so you are going to get the same value right so uac is equal to ucb you can say so we can simply write two times of uac please note this okay now how to approach now uh, what we'll do is u beam let me start two times of two times of what is uac sir uh, it can be written as this way uh, m square d x upon 2 e i isn't it and for ac 
x is equal to 0 starting at a and at c x is equal to l over 2 this entire beam this is l by 2 and this over here is l by 2 so that the total length of the beam is l right so the limits are going to be from 0 to l by 2 now you are just left with this expression 0 to l by 2 and then there is the same m square that is w square x square by 4 let me write this w square x square over 4 multiplied by ei let me take this ei outside okay and what is left is dx so this is what you need to integrate so it is going to be equal to 1 over 4 times of ei and w square integral of 0 to l by 2 x square dx this is equal to 1 over 4 ei let me write this as w square into x square will become x cube over 3 and the limits are from 0 to l by 2 so please note l cube by 8 8 3 is 24 and 24 into 4 24 into 4 20 into 4 is 80 4 into 4 is 16 80 plus 16 is 96 wonderful so the final result is strain energy of the beam is equal to w square l cube over 96 e i let me make a quick check <sighs> w square l cube upon 96 e i now you just need to differentiate this partially okay and then you are going to get the exact value of the deflection it's very simple let me do it here what are we going to use we are going to use this Castiglianos theorem del by del w of w square l cube upon 96 e i and please note there is only one term which you have to be concerned about and that's with respect to w this is that term right differentiate so this is going to be 2w 2w times of l cube over 96 ei 2 times of 48 and here we go the central deflection for a simply supported beam with a central load is equal to w l cube upon 48 E I that is your final answer and please let me know how do you uh, find this arrangement hmm? I have made this overhead arrangement uh, just to make sure I get more productive do let me know how do you like it write down in the comments okay so guys yes that was all from my side for today if you find this content helpful do like the video share it with your friends and your classmates and do subscribe to the channel. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care and have a nice day.